Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one email from my student in Udemy. This is from Sipide Moradi. Okay, just correct me if I pronounce your name in, uh, wrong, okay? Sipide said, Good day Nelka, I have enrolled in your Udemy course about retail lighting. Thank you. First, I really want to thank you because the way you teach is very interesting. Mm interesting indeed <laughs> okay i am a lighting designer student in germany and in our university we were taught relax oh okay relax yeah all right but i am the only one who uses dialogues Woo! congratulations you are different from the pack <laughs> okay because you teach very simple now I have some questions. This semester I should write my thesis and I have chosen light and buying behavior as a title. Oh, okay. So your thesis title is light and buying behavior. All right. Very good that you enrolled in my retail lighting uh, techniques in Udemy because it teaches you how the lights affect the behavior of the people buying in the retail shop. And CPD, if you want to learn more about that, go and check this video. Uh, yeah, it's part of the Udemy course. The Limbic Lighting uh, videos. There are two videos about the Limbic Lighting. This Limbic Lighting is a uh, white paper. It's a study of Zoom to Bell group together with the group Nymphenburg. And they studied how the light really affects the buying power of a customer. So go and check that one again, okay? The limbic lighting. There's a PDF file for this one. Read that one and you can really use that one in your thesis. Also, I have a project that is like a market hall that has grocery, cafes, restaurants, etc. Also office and event hub. Okay, I think he attached this picture and that is the one. I have read your ebook about lighting for retail shop and I would like to use some parts of my on my thesis. Sure, use it because I just also took it from reference materials uh, from Sibse, from ISNA, from other lighting design books. So just use it as your reference. But I don't know how should I give the book as a reference. Okay, um, just say the title and the author's name which is me <laughs> okay i use it whenever uh, whatever you like or however you like it i have a perfect 3d model but i made it in dialects as well okay i'm sure you did your 3d model in sketchup or 3d max but you said that you made it again in dialects i know why yes because when i bring the model in dialects that contains many lines that is always the problem if you imported the 3d files from other software like sketchup or 3d max and also for daylight calculations has really problem yes because it will not calculate the daylighting calculation if it's just an object it will only calculate if it's a uh, window or a skylight I will, I will tell you later okay i made the building i will show you why and how this this is the problem in dialoxibo i mean it's not a problem it's it's just a regular i made the building in two parts one is with a high ceiling and the other one with three floors that the office are there okay very good yeah I split it because it might be very heavy so just yeah the way you did is correct i sent you the photos of for the clearance so as you can see the picture the hall has a skylight with the glasses are not flat. Okay, so this is the hall. You can see here in the right side of the picture, It's this is the atrium or the hall. And he said, Sipide uh, said, the skylight, the hall has a skylight with the glasses that are not flat. So this is the picture of that glass and it's really not flat. Do you have a tip for me how I can build it in dialogues? I I did something and it's not affecting anything about the daylighting calculation. Anyways, I will show you later. However, I'm not sure that I can calculate daylight in dialogues correctly. Yes, you can. So don't worry about that one. We have a daylight labor in university, but it is closed now because of Corona. Yes, everybody's really locked down now. And I'm worried about your thesis. Are you going to have this thesis really for this coming school year? Okay, it's not my problem. 
I have written a lot, sorry. Now, problem. I am waiting for your next ebook about supermarket lighting. It's on hold because I'm focusing now on landscape lighting and facade lighting books. So maybe the supermarket may, may be next year. Okay. At last, I wish you a wonderful day and send you positive energies from Germany. Yeah, thank you so much. And positive also energy from Philippines. <laughs> I think we need it during this corona time. Yes, we should be always positive and think for something good, not for the worst. I will be very happy if you have tip for lighting too. Okay, for this project. Uh, I, you did not send the interior, so I cannot suggest anything. Maybe for the facade, yes. But because this is full of glass, I don't think you do need a facade lighting. Maybe you can put small... Uh, luminaire on the windows on the frames so it will be glowing in the night or yeah it's just my suggestion because it's a retail it's a commercial building so you can do that mm, okay many many things all right CP day thank you for your email and uh, thank you also for enrolling in the Udemy course about the lighting design techniques okay let's go back to your atrium this is your uh, roof style right okay cool it's wave light wave glass and this is how it looks inside cool okay and i created one part i created one design and still yo okay so there you go okay so i created sample design or cpd this is the effect this is just a clear skylight glass can see here this is just a clear skylight glass and inside you see the effects it's a plain crisp light coming from the sky well this one i put some object from the top of the skylight with a glass effect on that one i think i hope you can see this one there is glass object here also okay there's a glass object here and i made it wave a little wavy and the texture is also glass and you can see the effect is really not good but before that i placed this wavy effect below the glass and it has a little blurry effect while when i put it on the top of the glass now it becomes different see how it, i did it so this is how it looks and yeah this is the only effect that you will get and you are i think right because it's not giving you the correct effect from the daylight calculation okay so what if i put it back below it because uh previously it's below i will put it back and i will show you how it looks so rotate I say yes then move and now it's inside so you can see that um this glass is behind or below the other glass okay so let's see how it looks when we render because it's totally different from the one you see a while ago okay and the other one i'm rendering my previous project in dubai it's a school atrium and you can see the one you show the commercial building facade is also almost like this one and yeah it's it will capture a lot of light i'm sure okay so let's just wait for the calculation report re uh, result of that flat glass because yeah it's it's just a regular flat glass also yeah see those those um atrium is similar to i mean the hall or the atrium is similar to my um university algorithm university in dubai yeah, it's possible for you to build it everything from uh, Dialux Evo because it's if you imported the 3ds file from SketchUp or or 3d max yeah it's it will be very really very heavy you better do it in Dialux again because it will be lighter and it will gives you correct calculation uh, okay so it's almost done see CPD it's almost not really almost because this one the plain uh, skylight is sharper and this one is not so sharp maybe because of the other objects and this um, railings also or uh, metals 
it's blocking the light and it's not showing the correct effect on the sh on on the sh on the on the on the light effect okay so that's it and that is the only thing that i can help you yes you can build your skylight using this one so you create the glass first and then add the 3d object like this one you can either put it from the top or from the bottom and you can see the effect is only like this let's see how it looks in the false color there you go let's go to the room tab oh look at that so cpd this is what will happen if you put those uh decorative glass on your skylight this one is very sharp because it's a simple skylight and this one is not so sharp because it has decorations or railings or metals on the skylight so that's how it will affect your lighting value okay so yep i hope you learned something today and um good luck to your thesis and keep safe because of this coronavirus okay so see you again maybe on the next course in udemy okay bye oh okay i forgot by the way if you did not use the skylight for your daylighting it will not give you the correct effect for example you use a cutout tool to have a, a skylight like for example this is the one i'm doing right now so i created a cutout you can see I created a cutout and then if you're planning to use and um, add a text, uh, an object with a glass texture on it, for example, I will use this one and then copy it there. Control C and then Control V and I will place it here, for example. Okay, so because the cutout tool will not uh give you the correct lights okay so let's just see how it looks so now i change my cutout tool into the same size of my skylight okay let's render it again and see how and what will happen if you do cutting out not using a skylight okay okay so the lighting design calculation is finished and you can see let's go to the room even if i created the cutout here you see, you cannot see the light coming from that cutout. Because Dialux Evo will only detect daylighting calculation if you put a skylight or a window from the default selection of Dialux Evo. And see, I put a very cool uh, cutout here in this side. But you see, you cannot see the light coming from that cutout. So it means the last Ebo is not recognizing the cutout that you created. There's no daylight from that cutout. Okay, so CPD, just take note of that because, yeah, you need to create a window first and then do your decoration if you like. You use the extrusion volume or object to create those glass and then see what it looks. But do not use the cutout tool. Don't, don't, don't because it will not give you the correct calculation value okay so i hope you learned something today and like cpd if cpd cpd if you learned something about uh, lighting design tips and tricks and lighting design courses go and visit udemy.com and i will keep on adding more courses here later on because of the covid19 i have time now to do these courses okay so um cpd good luck to your thesis and i hope you made it to the finals <laughs> okay so, so see you again in the next video bye so okay this atrium is almost done calculating and it's combination of daylight and artificial light so i will not show you this one to finish because yeah i'm just showing you that it's possible for you to create your design using Dialux Evo. See how it's amazing. So the the skylight still ongoing and also the lighting calculation for artificial light.